All right, you beautiful Python Django developers, welcome back to this ninth Django tutorial video. And just to recap, what we did in the last video was we created this models.py file and we actually learned how to add stuff to our database and manipulate the database using the Django administration panel. In the starting of the last video, I talked about how there are two ways to manipulate and view the database. The first was obviously the easiest way that is viewing the database by just the Django administration panel. Now there is one more way to actually view the database and add stuff to our database and that method is known as the shell method. So at the starting of this video, I was kind of thinking whether I should tell you guys about the shell method or not, because this is not the ideal way to add stuff to our database or manipulate stuff. But then I remembered when I was starting out my Django journey, uh, I, because I learned this shell method, I was able to do a lot of more uh, cool stuff when I was trying to handle forms and stuff like that. So in the next video, we are going to be handling forms and uh, basically sending data from forms to our database, basically for the contact form. Uh, and there we are going to be using some of the things that we learn in this video. So let's get started with this uh, shell method. So the first thing we need to do is go to this manage.py file. And if you don't know how to open it up, it's obviously CTRL Alt plus R on your keyboard. And this will open up and you can just type in shell over here, press enter, and that will open up your shell prompt. That is this Python console. And over here you can see it says Django console. So what exactly is this Django console? So administration panel is kind of a graphical interface to handle database. While this Django console, you can just type in commands and stuff like that. And that will help you out uh, for editing the database and stuff like that. It's kind of like the command prompt or the shell of Linux and Mac OS that you already know about. So anyways, in this Django console, the first thing we are going to do is import these models from this models.py file to our Django shell. How do you do that? We just write from and then the app name that is my site dot models. And we are going to import both the students and the contact model. So first we are just going to write student and then comma contact and press enter. So now we have imported the students and contact. Now what if we want to see the objects or uh, the items that are inside this contact form. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to this manage.py file and actually we are going to run the server just to see what kind of a database we have currently uh, because I don't really remember to be honest what kind of stuff we added in the last video. So I'm just going to go to my admin panel and I'm going to go to my contacts and over here you can see there is this one object that is called r301 at the gmail.com. So we have one object inside our uh, contacts model. So what we're going to do is just to kind of uh, have a look inside this contact model via shell, we're just going to type in contact dot objects dot all. So contact in a sense of Python programming language is just a class and all of the things inside this contacts which contain email subjects and message are actually objects. So that's why we are writing contact dot objects dot all because we want to see all of the objects that are inside this class of contact. So let's press enter. And right now it says query set contact r301 at the rate gmail dot com. And this is the contact that we have that is one object currently in our database. Now what is this query set over here? So whenever we type in a command in a Django shell or whenever we type in a command that is to display all of the objects or kind of display them in a, in a different manner, then we call it a query set. So a query set can be this contact dot objects dot all or a query set can be any kind of command like this, which helps us to basically get data, send data and stuff like that, save data. So basically that is a query set. What is a query? A query is when we kind of uh, go through the database and the set is basically any kind of object that is inside the database. So we are querying all the objects over here for in this example, basically. So what if uh, we want to add another object inside this contact uh, contact model? So for that, what we can do is mm, we can just write uh, maybe create a variable. We can create a variable called P and actually let's call it C. And inside this uh, inside this variable, we are just going to write contact. And inside this, we are going to write the email, the subject and the message. So the email that we want to save via our shell is let's say John 
smith at the rate gmail.com and then we want to add the subject let's add the subject as yellow because let's be honest here you only live once and uh, the message should be let's just write the full form of uh, yellow you live only once mofo <laughs> i just want to add that at the at the end and then we write uh, we can just press enter so all of this stuff of contact is saved inside the c variable and now we can save it inside our database by writing c dot save and pressing enter and now this is saved inside our database as you can see over here we have the c variable and this is called john smith at the gmail.com and just to make sure it's actually is added inside a database we can go over here press enter and as you can see another item is added over here which is called john smith at the gmail.com and if you open it up as you can see we have uh, all this data inside a database so this was kind of the second method which is used um, just uh, in django now if you want to know more about this query set we are going to go we are going to be using this uh, save method in the next video so i just wanted to kind of cover that in this video and kind of introduce you to the shell method but if you want to know more query sets that you can use you can just go to google and type in something like uh, query set django and yeah you can open this first one because 2.1 is the latest one and then you can just kind of uh, read through this. It has, this is the objects.all we were using. And then uh, let's see, anything else? I think there are a lot, lot, lot of more uh, which you are not gonna go into right now because they are like uh, for more advanced level and we are just kind of like doing the beginner stuff right now. But actually this is not a beginner stuff. You have started act interacting with the shell. You have added stuff to our database. You are kind of going from beginner to intermediate right now. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, uh, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to be building our contact form. That is, uh, let me just show you. We're gonna go over here. And in the next video, we are going to be building our uh, form over here. And we are going to be sending the data from the form to our database. And we are basically going to be connecting the form to our database. So we'll do that in the next video. Peace out.